Good morning, welcome to our move to France. Not a particularly nice day again, but at least it's not raining. I am going to attempt to cut this out again today. So I don't keep banging my back on neck every time I uh, try to go in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've got it early today because I'm expecting deliveries. Sam's en route. I've done this, got to build a lawnmower that I bought yesterday. Yeah, it's a three in one, so it cuts bags and mulches. Um, so that'd be handy. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else we get done. I'm trying to clear some of the back, I'll take a video of that later. And uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you once I've done this. Au revoir. Yeah. Sam's off to uh, streaming again. That's now done. You can now walk straight through, which is lovely. There is some of the wheels just came straight off, snipped off, three of them. So that was nice. So yeah, that's that done. And, and now, about to build a lawnmower. Over here. I say build, I don't think it's going to need a lot. It's just there. Huh, catch up with you in a bit. Hello, hello. Trying to stop these, they're not having any of it. I've always been hard to start, but today I'm exceptionally hard to start. Oh dear. I'm just about to go and uh, walk up to Sam because I've just heard a scream. So, it could possibly be a snake. Who knows? I think the lawnmower's now busted because I heard it go bang. Sorry about that, just had a phone call. Dick has been delivered in about half an hour. Alright, as I say, let's go and see what Sam what damage Sam's done to this lawnmower. Oh, it's hot. Doesn't look, doesn't look like it, it's just rained actually, but it's still warm. What have you done to the lawnmower? What have you done to the lawnmower? Yes. Well, it appears to be on its side. Yes. Uh huh. I heard a big clonk. Yes. Uh huh. And I thought I'll wait until you put the video on because you'll uh, take it better. All right. Bear in mind, I bought this yesterday. It's she winches not about not her not tools. Not my fault. Oh, it's not your fault. Mm -hmm. It went over there. Went over. Okay. Yeah. So I turned it on its side. Uh huh. To um, see if there was any damage. Right. I can't see any. But it won't start now. No. <laughs> okay, have you checked for fuel? No. <sighs> what, do, you wanna, I, uh, do you want to hold this? Yeah, what I have discovered, which one am I holding? Oh, Dick is coming, that way. Ah. What I have discovered is the. I don't want to. I don't want to use any foul language. But the man that sold us the house is obsessed with making piles and covering it over everywhere. So this this is under a pile of brambles with yet more tyres. Because what I'm going to try and do this was all covered up with brambles. This tree. Once this is all cleared, what I'd like to do is put a um, tree bench around it. I'll just go back a bit. You can actually see the trunk now. When I started this morning, it was completely covered. 
but I think it looks worse because he's got a mound uh, underneath there with tyres and God knows what. It's just some of the tyres. And there's more piled up over there. So what I've done today is I've strimmed all around the circle. Uh, the idea is, is to uh, level it all off and reseed it with grass so we have one complete lawn. I mean with all this land you didn't really need to put it right bang in the middle of the grass. Uh, I've cut and strimmed so you can actually see the trees now. It's just still loads to do. Absolutely loads. I think what we need to do is you need to uh, say to Tony on the, on the comments you want to see him do my work. It works. Okay. He doesn't like metal. I was just saying that... We have a digger come on his way. Okay. And you can dig that out. No, can I no. just say something? Um, that is probably looking worse than what it is because yeah. the owner yeah. has done another mound similar to that one. Yeah. I'm assuming it's got soil underneath it. I haven't got a clue. Um, and he had tyres around it. I've removed some of the tyres, but I'm thinking if I cut this down, it's a mound again, to me, plastic That's sheeting. Oh, it's so annoying. I don't think I'll be able to use it today. Why? It's just for half from tomorrow, isn't it? It's got a clock on it. Oh, is it? Oh, you won't be able to touch it today. Well, I'll probably be able to drive it to where it needs to go. Yeah. I was just explaining that that's where I'm going to have to. I'm going to bring the woman back because I was shouting, do we have our checkbook? Because you took it out the other day when we went around to see Jerry. No, I don't carry a checkbook. I took it out and put it back. I check, but I didn't know that was coming today. I thought it was coming early tomorrow morning. So what's happening then? Ah. Uh, well, I know you anyway, because you're going to get your eyes done before I do it. My eyebrows, yeah. No, I think I've done a good job. What's happened What do you mean, what's happened? But that's because I said to you, if I can lift the sheet, the rain... It doesn't actually know what I've been doing. Soil and rubbish like that. But we've... I haven't. We've had major downpours. It's obviously seeped into the ground, which is what I said to you the other day. If I could have lifted the sheet and uh, raked it a little bit, a lot of it would have just sunk into the ground tone. A snake hole. This is why I stopped. Right, I was quite <laughs> happily yesterday thinking, right, what I'll do... screaming at earlier on. Oh, a mouse. Oh. No, it just startled me. I'm not frightened of them. But I was happily going along thinking, right, I'll, I'll cut all this, get it all ready. And then I found <laughs> a snake skin. <clears throat> there it is. I kept it to show the children. But if you can see, I'm absolutely. I mean, this is a miracle for me to even be this close. I'm absolutely petrified. I'm petrified of snakes. Petrified. I can do anything, rats, mice, anything you name it, but snakes. I so, have to say, I haven't seen any lizards here. So I. <laughs> Once I discovered that, I then downed tools in this area and told Tony I wasn't coming back on here. Oh yeah. Um, no, I pulled the tyre up over there and um, there was a little mouse in it and it, about four babies. But um, they went into the... I was good about, about to put the tyre back for them because I didn't want to disturb yeah, their yeah, home. <coughs> no, but they um, went back into another hole, so here you can hold this. The snake. <gasps> I did think that. Do you not think that that looks better already? I'm yeah, just saying. over there. All that's been done over there, under the trees. Sam did that yesterday with the uh, 
the strimmer. There's a lot to I've do. I've just put the blade on to do that, but I can't, the strimmer won't start. There's still a lot to do. Cut yeah. a bit under there, so the kids can go under there on their swing. Just the front bit, because there's loads of tweaks and stuff, and that Sam's just experienced with a lawnmower. He doesn't like objects. That wasn't a tweak. I know, it was a lump of metal, but I'd already cut it once. So while he was going back over it again, it's your favourite thing, isn't it? Um, you like to do job twice. Yeah, I just think once that's gone and it's reseeded and we start really strimming and maintaining it, bear in mind, we haven't been here long. Let's see if someone wants this wheel. Do a giveaway. Well, there's more. <laughs> over there. These? Another, uh, stack what have you got? One, one, two. I think there's at least three. Uh, two CV wheels. Yeah. Anybody's got right. anybody's got a, a two CV that needs some wheels. And by your shed, there's about twelve there. Yeah, but not of the wheels themselves, just tyres. What? Uh, two, you know the two CVs. You know the one that looks like an upside down pram cars. That Richard Savant used to have. I've got yeah, you do. I don't. Yeah, you do. I don't. Yeah, you do. Anyway, that's, uh, yeah, so anybody in France that wants some, that's looking for some. There's at least three there, and I don't know if there's any more over there. Oh, heavens are opening again. Huh? Chainsaw? Oh, chainsaw's over there. I looked, found it earlier, the little one. Oh yeah, fourth one. No, five. Five of them. Sam, why don't you leave it? We've got to dig it. Well, I'm going to have to. I'll move that one. I'll do that one. You don't need to. You get you get the digger to take the, the brush off. Like what we're doing down there. Jesus, she likes to make her life hard. Your fence? Oh yeah, Sam was making a fence yesterday. Looks quite good actually. Bless her. I swear there's a mini chainsaw over here. Yeah, just looks like a pile of twigs. I think this was it. Is this it? Is this for your fence? I said, is that the fence? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. We've got loads over there. fire bin that we're not allowed to use, we're not allowed to light it. Uh, an electric chainsaw that's just left out in the rain. Uh, which is probably clogged up again. Yeah? Or you clogged it up again? Or you clogged it up again and then left it out in the rain? Yeah. So, in theory, you could have burnt this in October, I think, if you can start having fires. But as you can see, it's all in the trees, so it's going to set fire to the trees, probably all the sheds. It's now raining again. So, I'm going to say goodbye. Au revoir. Please like and subscribe and share. And uh, if anything else interesting happens, I will record it. Bye-bye. Right, we have just heard... Our digger delivered. Lovely company, um, lovely chap. They're in the Grand Bourg, really helpful. Um, so he's dropped it off in the lorry and brought it as far as the entrance of the drive. So Tony's now gonna have to move it out the way because we won't be able to get our cars out this way. boys and their toys eh? Tony could buy one of these he would gadgets
Ani so? Smile. He looks a little bit stressed. But he's only... Oh my god, I don't even think I should move. Stand behind. one of our friends pop by Paul say uh, hello let's see if the gate's open Tony was giving him a tour of the house and the grounds he went you've got a lot of work yep we know an awful lot Right, we can't use this till tomorrow. It was delivered today and we only can use it for Saturday and Sunday. So it's just going to be parked here till tomorrow. What are you doing? Tony, I don't think you should keep swinging that. This, this end bucket looks like it's not hooked over properly. This end bucket here, the, it's only on, on with one hook. <coughs> I was just explaining that if you could buy one of these, you'd have one. Oh, mate. Yeah. You love a gadget, <laughs> a toy. Ooh. I mean, I wouldn't even know, how much would one of these be brand new? Yeah. Yeah. 50? 50,000 euros. At least. The problem is you can go on to Le Bon Coin and Marketplace. Mm. But you buy things at your own risk because as we've it's learned. I've gone on uh, Le Bon Coin and they're shown uh, these for 6,000 euros. And you know for a fact these are the 6,000 euros. Well, apart from there's a lot of scamming on the marketplace in particular, Le Bon Coin is another uh, site where people sell stuff. Um, but we have bought, obviously, our white Peugeot and the quad from Marketplace and 
when we've got them home there's all there've been issues with them both so um just be very mindful when you're buying secondhand stuff here <coughs> well yeah Indeed, indeed, indeed. Right, I'm going to put the camera down. Okay. I'm going to have a drink and then think of where to start next. There you go. I've been bitten really bad by them ants, Have mm -hmm. Oh my God. Look. I'm not even entirely sure if that's all right. Don't put the camera on it. Why? No. Do you think that's all right? It's all gone um, swollen. Yeah, you've taken an antihistamine. Look, and it's gone blue. I should have taken antihistamine. Is that dangerous? What, an antihistamine? No, what's that? No, it's just, a, just, a, just a, it's like a net bite. It's not on my vein. Yeah. What was, concerned. Well, what am I supposed to be concerned about? I am, I, I, I am, yeah. Yeah, it could there. Look at this, gonna have fun with this this weekend. Yay. <sighs> Alright, anyway. Just taking a bit of the grass up. Taking the grass up? The tracks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. It's not funny. Huh? I ain't funny, sir. I'm going to the grass up. Oh, it is what it is, sir. So it'll grow back. Right. I will speak to you later. Probably be uh, tomorrow's video now. Might do a bit later. I might take to go around the house and try and film it slowly, and uh, uh, yeah, try and show you that more in more detail. Uh, <coughs> this weather's very bizarre. Yeah, I know. Raining. Now hot. Crazy. Probably. Have Probably. Right. Speak to you soon, guys. Bye bye.